Um, I, I just went to, to the you know NASA site and I downloaded this um, you know nice picture of space and uh, and so we're going to use this to make a really simple but you know elegant looking uh, skin here for um, if I can find it here yeah so. So, so look at really all there is to this. It, it's, it's actually really simple. Um, so we're basically saying, well, let's just call this, um, we'll call it NASA front end. We're, we're going to make it 4.3, so we'll make it 1920 by 1440, but it'll automatically scale at different resolutions if, if your resolution isn't that high. Um, I just have like a black, solid black, one pixel by one pixel image. You're going to set that as a menu background. We're going to set uh, the menu select color to yellow, the menu unselected color to white. Um, here are just some sounds I pulled off of a site that has free sounds available for download. Um, then here, you know, basically in our list of objects, we're just going to add an object. This, this is an image, and it's 2500 by 2500. And uh, we're going to offset it so that it's 300 pixels to the left and 450 pixels to the top. And we're just pointing to the to this same image that we have in the folder. We're just pointing, you know, to the, to this guy right here. And uh, within this uh, object, we're going to say that it has an animation on it. We're going to do a rotation animation, and we're going to say that it rotates uh, 360 degrees and it just loops forever. Um, then we're going to have an, uh, a preview for the stuff in our list. Um, we're basically just going to say that it's you know 1920 by 1440, the full size of the, uh, the screen. Um, and then finally, we, we're going to have a text list, and we're just going to overlay the text list and to basically just say, it's 1920 by 1440, um, the, the, the left position zero, the, the top position zero, it's uh, aerial font, um, the selected uh, foreground color is yellow, the unselected top uh, uh, color is white, the unselected bottom color is white, um, the, the background uh, is going to be uh, black, um, the unselected background is black. We're going to give it this color outline. Uh, the font size for selected items will be 120, unselected will be 63, no rotation on it. Um, and we're going to say that uh, you know, here's the padding for unselected items. And here's the padding for you know the, the items horizontally, and we're going to anti-alias the text. So um, you know, it's pretty simple. I mean, if you really look at this, there's only you know one, two, three objects really in this template. The, the rest of it's just sound, and uh, you'll see that you know we can actually kind of get quite a bit from this. So so just so this is what that looks like. We just took the image, we're rotating it. It just kind of looks like a you know rotating space background. Um, you know, we have a, you know, our, our image previews, some big uh, text in front of it. We got our sound effects. And, you know, I mean, and that's all it took. So, I mean, if you had some, uh, you know, kind of space in the uh, cabinets, it would be just, you know, so trivial to throw some of these together. Very easy to do so. And, you know, we can uh, launch a game from it, you know, it's uh, easy as pie. So, you know, that's, uh, Yeah, I mean that's that's really all there is to it. I mean it's pretty easy, you know, to get something that looks you know pretty darn good. Um, and and you can basically just keep adding layers to uh, you know your theme. I mean you could have an arbitrary number of layers, and so you know you could have layers that have transparencies. You could do different stuff. I mean it's you know really really easy to do this stuff. <laughs> 